What's up girlfriends? So I just want to do a quick video and um, give you a run through about how to use Polyvore. It's the site that I use to create all of the images that you've seen. And yeah, let's get into it. So what you want to do is you go to www.polyvore.com. I provided the link um, in the book. Uh, what you want to, you can have the option to create without um, creating an account. Uh, what you can do is you can click the sign up tab. Uh, what I'm going and then here so you can see uh, login, create, uh, sign up with your email or sign up using your Facebook account. Uh, what I'm going to do is just log in so it's easier to see. So that's what you get. Um, things you can do over here is like you can check out what's trending right now and oops oops so it says new print bikinis a halter tops duster coats outfit ideas looks for less yeah you can spend hours and hours um browsing what's trending you can also click on the second tab outfits and these are basically sets that uh, other users have created. So you can just browse and get more inspiration. And this is one I read. I quite like this dress and this color scheme. So I'm going to click like and it's going to go into my collections. So what you want to do is to just go click on this tab here and you want to create a set. So it says here is create a collage. And... They give you, you know, you can choose tops, outerwear, dresses, jeans, pants, and much, much more in embellishments. So what you want to really do is just to explore and play around and see what you um, are feel attracted to, something that you would want to try to wear, and they even show you where you can buy the tops buy it from. So let's say I, I look at this top and I think it's pretty cute, so I'm going to drag it over. And uh, it tells me it's blue and red ruffled off the shoulder crop top. If I click on it, it opens a new tab and um, says where to buy it from. So you can click it on pixiemarket.com. This has been promoted and that's why it appears when you click on the tops tab. So now I've got a top and uh, I probably want to click on woman. I think I would like to wear it with a pair of shorts. Um, so I look for something which I think would go well. Um, just browse. I tend to like to choose the ones where there's no hanger, no people. Like if I choose this, then um, it might turn out. I don't know. I just prefer the ones without the people in it. So maybe I'll choose this. This looks pretty cute. It's got some tassels on it and it's printed so maybe and it looks high waisted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, up here it says you can send it forwards and backwards so it kind of works like um you know in PowerPoint because of PowerPoint uh, it doesn't turn out very well but okay so this top hasn't been um fully you know uh, truly <laughs> and it uh, it doesn't have all the edges transparent out, so never mind. I'll I think this I'll just put it on the side then, um, and then you can put it forward. So what now? I got the top. I got a pair of shorts. What I will probably do is look for some shoes, and uh, I'm thinking, you know, wedge sandals. I can type type in what you want to search for. So let's type in wedge sandals and. Since this is blue, I probably would want to go with something also blue on my feet. Oops, that's my phone. Um, maybe something with heels. This looks quite cute. And yeah, this looks cute. So what else would I add into the into this outfit? Maybe it looks very summery. I might add um, choose a bag. And what I did is uh, I already have a selection of my items. You can browse and you just like select things that you like, put heart shapes on them, and then they just go into the top tabs here. And 
bags. So I'm gonna search for a bag which I have already um, saved before. Mm, probably something with tassels because the shorts has tassels, so it'd be kind of cute. Um, let's search for a bag with tassels. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks cute. This is Anya Heimach clutch, and yeah, it looks really cute. The key here is to just explore and play around. Some of the items which you search and that come up in the search tends to be a bit maybe pricey than their, you know, um, branded stuff. But it just takes some playing around and. Um, so this is probably an outfit that I would wear on the weekends, just something fun for a picnic or just shopping. You can choose some jewelry. Let's see. I like to look for something matching. How about this? This looks pretty cute. So I might put it over there. The key here is, I would, I mean, you can go into all, you know, um, creating See how this is overlapping onto my shorts, so I go click on this and then I send it backwards so that the shorts comes uh, in front and doesn't be blocked. So I can choose also maybe um, embellishments, maybe I can put in some text. Yeah, I can write some text. So I'll put maybe how about this one. I love volleyball. So over here I can click on the text and I put in weekend. Update. Yeah, look kind of cute. Maybe I'll rotate it, put it aside. And yeah, and then all you gotta do is just press publish, you put in the title. You can outfit with tassels. It's like a category in women's fashion. You can describe your style. Um, I don't know. Cute weekend outfit. And you can click publish and post to Pinterest. And ta-da! It's done. It really takes just a very short time. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, yeah, I'll see you.